One area of sleep that I get asked about a lot is about the ideal environment to be able to sleep in. And we know that temperature plays a key role. What we find is that a cold bedroom and a cold temperature when we're sleeping is actually ideal to help us to get the best quality sleep. Now, in general, through lots of research, we find that somewhere around 65 degrees Fahrenheit, about 18.3 degrees Celsius, is that key number. Now, that usually can range somewhere from around 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. We know that the body in general is around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, but about two hours before bed, we see a drop in temperature, usually around two degrees and the body will continue to show a decrease in temperature throughout the course of the night through the early morning hours, and then start to warm up slowly throughout the morning. This change in temperature is an indication for our bodies to be able to sleep and plays a key role with our circadian rhythm. We do know that in general, that that ability to have that cooling factor is going to help us to be able to have more sound sleep. The body cools itself typically through a process of vasodilation where it's going to take the heat from the core of the body and push it out to the extremities. That's why many people will experience warmer hands and feet as they're getting ready for bed. Now for those that tend to have more of the cold extremities, this could be an indication that the body isn't for some reason doing that process. And that disruption can actually play a role in individuals having more sleep onset insomnia. Individuals finding a little bit more difficulty being able to fall asleep, at least being at higher risk for it. Now let's talk about when our bedroom is too warm. Uh, for many of us who have tried to fall asleep when it's hot, when it's stuffy, we can see that it can be very discomfort, experiencing a lot of discomfort, restlessness. It can be hard to fall asleep whenever it is a much hotter temperature. We also know that when it's too warm, that can interfere with our body's ability for thermoregulation, which can cause a lot of fatigue. Now for fatigue, many times we may mentally and physically feel tired, but it actually makes it more difficult for us to be able to fall asleep. We also know that body temperature doesn't only impact our ability to fall asleep, but it can also impact our ability to achieve certain sleep stages that are very important for processing for our mind, for memory, attention, focus, and concentration, and for our body to repair as well. When we have that higher core body temperature, that can have an impact in our ability to get into deeper stages of sleep where we see that restorative slow wave sleep. Additionally, when we see a difference between the core and the extremities, that can also play a role in our subjective sleep quality. And we can see decreased sleep efficiency as well. So spending more time in bed awake than more time asleep. We also know that REM sleep can be disrupted whenever we're seeing changes in body temperature as well. And it can be more sensitive to ambient temperatures because during REM sleep, our body no longer is going to be engaging in the shivering or the sweating and the body regulation because it's focusing more on that psychological and mind repair. So how do we make sure that we're keeping the best temperature in the bedroom and keeping it cool so that we sleep well? Well, one key is gonna be during the warm months to keep the blinds closed, keep the windows closed, to keep the heat and the sun out. Just like when you're on an airplane, they ask you to close the windows. Possibly moving downstairs and sleeping in areas where you're gonna have natural cooler temperatures, turning down the thermostat at night to help to signify for your body in general that it's getting time to fall asleep. You can obviously use moving air with a fan or an air conditioner if you want to either have an AC in, the, in fans in the hot months and use a hot water bottle or a heating pad or something like that in the winter months to have a little bit of warmth, but not too warm. We wanna make sure that we're controlling the humidity and promoting ventilation. And for those that wanna take a warm bath before bed, that can be another key because we'll heat up the body and then have a natural cooling effect that can help to trigger that circadian rhythm and trigger that time to fall asleep. Be well.